All right, so the Carolina Hurricanes have announced that they have offer sheeted Jesperi Kotkaniemi, and the offer sheet deal is worth one year and $6.1 million for that one year. And we all know that Jesperi Kotkaniemi has done nothing to warrant a $6.1 million deal. This is just the Hurricanes GM Don Waddell getting back at Mark Bergevin for offer sheeting Sebastian Ajo a few years ago. And when the Habs offer sheeted Sebastian Ajo in 2019, they really front-loaded the contract, trying to make it hard for Carolina to match it. As we know, the Hurricanes did match it, and now Montreal has seven days to match this contract. What are they going to do? Are they going to keep Cogton Yemi, or are they going to take the first round pick and the third round pick that will come their way if they just let Carolina have them? Don Waddell said that Cogton Yemi signed the offer sheet because he wants to be here and he sees the great young core and the future potential that Carolina has and he wants to be a part of it. I'm not so sure that's the reason why I think Cogton Yemi signed it just to get the contract negotiations done and out of the way. Montreal, I want to point out, really has no cap space right now. It's going to be tough for them to match it. I think they do match it. If Kakaniemi has a season like he's had in his first three years, then more than likely when this contract is up, he won't be making anything worth $1.6 million, or $6.1 million, I should say, sorry. The Habs wish it was only $1.6 million, then they could match it easy. Cockton Yemi probably wasn't going to get more than a two-year deal worth about $2.5 million, maybe, something like that. But Carolina's now made it really tough for Montreal. Like I said, though, I think the Habs do match it. They stick out that one year of paying Cockton Yemi a huge salary, a salary that he's not worth at all right now. And then next year, they'll bring him down to a more reasonable salary once they get to negotiate under normal circumstances. So those are my thoughts on the offer sheet. Please let me know what you all think in the comment section below. We don't see these very often, so it's kind of news when they come about. And this is more, like I said, Don Waddell retaliating on Mark Bergevin for offer sheeting Ajo a couple of years ago. I want to point out, too, that they threw in a $20 signing bonus, which is really extra weird. This makes the whole thing even more bizarre. I think it's almost them trolling Montreal and giving them the $20 sign, giving uh, Cockton Yemi the $20 signing bonus. Is that Sebastian Ajo's number? And I don't think that's coincidence one bit. So please like this video and subscribe for more great hockey content. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.